all right so um now we will start uh, with this solution guys look here uh, it is a look at this picture it is a, actually a six meter long pipe and the diameter is eight centimeter you can see the surface temperature is 70 and the room temperature is 20 degrees centigrade this uh, pipe it is passing a through a large room we actually need to re calculate the rate of heat loss what actually happened in general you can see the surface temperature is 70 room temperature is 20 so definitely there should be some heat transfer but what is new here actually we need to calculate this problem by using natural convection and this is the first time we are going to use the natural convection heat transfer uh, method to solve uh, any problem so every information given here um, we will start with the solutions so now let me just draw um, the domain let's say this is the pipe all right so um, what we know from the question that um, the diameter is eight centimeter and the length it is actually six meter we know the surface temperature is 70 degrees centigrade and let's say the air temperature is 20 degrees centigrade so that's all we know from this uh, problem so what we do every time when we solve any problem so so we write down the assumptions so here um, actually let me write it down at first so let's say this is a steady operating condition and the second thing is we will consider that uh, air is ideal gas okay air is ideal gas and the thirdly we will consider that um, the atmospheric pressure the local atmospheric pressure is atm so let's say the the atmospheric pressure is uh, 1 atm so that's our assumptions so now um we discussed during our lecture that uh, when you will calculate uh, the the properties actually for natural convection problem you need to use the film temperature we know the surface temperature we know the air temperature so that means we can easily calculate the film temperature so let's um, calculate the properties when we will calculate the properties we need the film temperature which is 70 degrees centigrade plus 20 degrees centigrade over 2 so that means 45 degrees centigrade at 45 degrees centigrade the properties actually we will use the table a15 from your book like the fifth edition SI unit book so what's the properties we need the thermal conductivity is 0 0.02699 wood per meter kelvin we need the frontal number 0 0.7241 we need uh, the thermal, you know, the, the kinematic viscosity is 1.750 and 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second. The other thing we need the volume expansion coefficient. We discussed this during our lecture. This is uh, one of the important things actually when we are considering the natural convections. So it is the film temperature here we consider because. We are calculating all the properties at film temperature so it should be 45 degrees centigrade or you can say it is 45 plus 273 all right kelvin so that's actually we got um, the the volume expansion coefficient so now um, we actually need to calculate the the rate of heat transfer right like has a is uh, delta t so to get that value, this Q, we need the surface area. So we will calculate surface area. Later on, you can see this T S T infinity, it is known, it is given. So what else, once we know the surface area, what else we need to know? It is the haste, the local convection heat transfer coefficient. And we all know it is the function of Nusselt number. And here, actually, to get the Nusselt number correlations, we need the Rayleigh number. And that's interesting thing. Um, for inter you know, for the you know the internal flow like of the forced convection like what we did for the last couple of weeks to understand the flow regime we calculated the Reynolds number uh, because it was the ratio of the inertial force and the viscous force here natural convection is related to the buoyancy so we need to know the Rayleigh number because it is actually the um, you know we already discussed this sort of things to to minimize the length of the video i'm not going um so detailed but here we actually need to know the Rayleigh number at first 
and you can see the overall project here the relay number the nozzle number haze so we'll calculate this one at first then nozzle number then haze then surface area then we'll get q right so now we will calculate the relay number so here actually <coughs> relay number uh, we discussed during the lecture the, the physics of the relay number it is let me write the definition here it is actually the gravity the volume expansion coefficient the surface temperature and the atmospheric temperature the diameter cube over the kinematic viscosity square and the Prandtl number so what i got from here guys um you see we need the characteristics length uh, here i simply wrote it is d but uh, depending on your problem it could be different so here we are solving the problem it is a uh, you know a horizontal pipe so look um we got the table here look at the picture from the second and from the bottom you see this is a horizontal cylinder so if it is the horizontal cylinder your characteristics length it will be the diameter of the uh, tube and the other thing actually i am going to show you now you see we can use this uh, nozzle number correlation that means the uh, equation 9.25 from your book if the calculated Rayleigh number is less than or equal to the power 12. so i'm telling this one now because i actually don't want to show you again so if your calculated Rayleigh number is then less than or equal to the power 12 then you can use these correlations so now if we start from here uh, the characteristics length uh, characteristics length here lc it will be called d the diameter which is 0 0.08 meter okay so this is actually the characteristics length d here now um, substitute all those values that are a d it is equal to gravity 9.8 the volume expansion coefficient how much it is 1 over 318 the surface temperature is 70 air temperature is 20 diameter is 0 0.08 uh, power cube over the kinematic viscosity what it is it is um 1.750 and 10 to the power minus 3 it is a square and the whole term we need to multiply the prandtl number which is 0 0.7241 so we will get the Rayleigh number it is equal um 1.867 and 10 to the power 6 is clearly less than that follow 10 to the power 12 okay so that means we can use that nozzle number correlations so once we have this relay number the next step is we will calculate the nozzle number so the nozzle number um, expressions from the equation um, it is equation 9.2 to 5 from your book the nozzle number correlation is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.387 and the Rayleigh number over 1.6 the power 1.6 over 1 plus 0 0.559 over the pendulum number 9 over 16 and the whole power is 8 over 27 and the whole is square here what you can see we need to substitute only these two values the Rayleigh number and the Prandtl number so that we already know so the 0 0.6 0 0.387 and the Rayleigh number you see it is 1.867 uh, and 10 to the power 6 867 and 10 to the power 6 and this power is 1 over 6 1 by 6 it is 1 plus 0 0.559 the Prandtl number is 0 0.7241 and um, it's 9 over 16 8 over 27 and the whole square so we will get the nozzle number from this calculation is 17.39 so once we know this nozzle number then we will calculate the local convection heat transfer coefficient you all know this um we know the formula actually the haste decay thermal conductivity so 17.39 so the haste it will be 17.39 into the thermal conductivity over the diameter 
so this is 17.39 and the thermal conductivity is um 0 0.02699 0 0.02699 and the diameter is 0 0.08 so the highest uh, the heat transfer coefficient we got 5.867 watt per meter square kelvin this is haze so we got the haze local convection heat transfer coefficient what we need guys now we need the surface area and then we'll get q all right so um as it is a circular pipe so you know the surface uh, area it is pi dl so it is 3.1416 diameter is 0 0.08 length is 6 meter so the area is 1.508 meter square now we will calculate the heat transfer rate right the heat transfer rate um q it is equal haze as delta t haze is um you know we, we calculated just a um, couple of minutes back it is 5.867 surface area is 1.508 temperature is 70 it is 20 so um it will be 442 watt the rate of heat transfer due to natural convections but what we know from the definitions of the natural convection especially in real case um apart from this natural convection the heat loss could be due to the radiation so if we consider that that radiation effect like what will be the heat transfer if we consider the radiation actually the radiation heat transfer the formula is uh, the epsilon the emissivity it is called the emissivity surface area the constant is stephen boltzmann constant the surface temperature for and it is actually the power of surrounding temperature what i said this is the emissivity this is the constant uh, stephen boltzmann this is the surface temperature and this is the surrounding temperature here we have the domain like this the surface temperature is 70 so this is ts and the air temperature is 20 this is actually the surrounding temperature if we consider guys um, the emissivity let's say the the outer surface of the pipe it is black and we consider the emissivity okay the emissivity epsilon it is equal one this is our assumptions all right and the sigma is stephen boltzmann constant is 5.67 and 10 to the power minus 8 uh, watt per meter square kelvin power 4 so now um, we know epsilon and we know um, the sigma this epsilon and sigma and we know the rest of all the surface and the other temperatures so if we substitute the value here q equal epsilon a is sigma t is 4 and t surrounding temperature 4 so substitute all the values if the emissivity 1 the surface area 1.508 sigma uh, the constant value is 5.67 and 10 to the power minus 8 the surface temperature is 70 plus 273 power 4 and it is 20 plus 273 it is power 4 so it will be uh, 553 5, watt so the q the rate of heat transfer due to radiation um, we got it is higher than the natural convections for natural convection we got it is 442 from radiation we got this is 553 um actually it is because of of uh, this emissivity value epsilon equal one in real case um the emissivity it will be lower than one less than one so um that means this value will be lower than this value so that actually uh, the thing if any question asks you can calculate the rate of heat loss uh, by radiation you actually need to use this formula okay so let's see what we did um, just let's do a quick review we um, just to read the question we write down the assumptions then properties we calculated the volume expansion coefficient we calculated the Rayleigh number uh, we know the characteristics lens then we calculated the the Rayleigh number uh, we, we got the Nusselt number from the Rayleigh number and from these equations once we got the nozzle number then we get the haze once we have the haze then we calculated the surface area and then we finally use the newton's law of cooling so that's all guys